Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Now before we get into today's video, I do hope you all had a good Christmas if you do celebrate it. And if you don't, I do hope you all had some nice time off spending it with family and friends. Now today, seeing as it is my final video of 2022, I wanted to look back on some of my best rock pooling finds of the year. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you may have seen that I did this video last year with some of my best finds of 2021. But we've found so many amazing sea creatures this year and I'm going to just look back on some of the best finds in this video. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Kicking this list off at number 5 and I've chosen the long leg spider crab. Now this was a really great find, I found it at my local beach of Corriton Cove and it was the first ever live spider crab that I've ever found. Um, normally if you've, if you've watched a few of my uh, rock pooling videos you will know that I'm always on the lookout for spider crabs because I think, especially the common spider crab, I think would be amazing to film. They're a lot bigger and just a lot cooler in general spiky shell, long arms, long legs. So it'd be really cool to find one, film one hopefully next year. But anyway, the long leg spider crab was an amazing find. It's a small species of spider crab, but it uses pieces of like algae and maybe a bits of sponge to um, decorate itself and uh, help it blend into the surroundings. Very, very good at camouflage. And uh, yeah, I was just looking in a rock pool, moving some seaweed around and it just popped out of the seaweed and it was an, I, I was so glad to find it, it was such a good find. So uh, yeah, for the first ever spider crab I have found, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Coming in at number 4 and I have chosen the candy striped flatworm. Now this was another find from Corriton Cove. And it's a very strange polychaete worm. It looks very weird. Uh, they're quite small, so it, you may not notice them at first if you uh, find one in a rock pool. But um, they've got white, like a white sort of body, and then distinct like black stripes. Um, they're an amazing species to like observe, like moving around. The way they move around is really cool. And uh, yeah, I found about five in this one rock pool at Carton Cove and uh, made sure I got some really good footage of them as, again, it was the first time I'd found this species and being so close to home, it made it even better. So yeah, there's number four. For spot number three, I have chosen the Orange Clubbed Sea Slug. Now, this sea slug is a type of nudibranch and it was the first nudibranch I'd ever found while rock pooling, so it was amazing. And this species is just so alien looking and so amazing to watch, just like move around the rock pool, different bits of seaweed. It likes um, serrated rack, I think. That's what I found uh, my sea slug on. Um, but yeah, again, a really small species. If you're rock pooling and you find one, you actually may miss it because it's um, very, very small, but it stands out in contrast to like the green seaweed. So um, it's definitely an amazing find. Again, the first nudibranch find of the year. Um, the first Orange Club sea slug I've ever found. So yeah, it was found in the same video and in the same rock pooling trip as the candy striped flatworm. So that just made it even better. For number two, I have chosen the St. Piran's Hermit Crab. Now I've been lucky enough to come across this species more than once this year and it's just such an amazing species to find, especially when you know about the, um, the disappearance of it uh, many years ago and the re-emergence of it recently in some spots around the UK. It's just really, really great to hear. And obviously I knew about this species, I wanted to find this species because it's a lot rarer than the common hermit crabs that I find quite often, pretty much every rock pooling trip now. But yeah, I went to Cornwall and in Hannafor in Lou, I managed to find one and it was really, really great. It's great to see a different hermit crab species for a change. Like I mentioned earlier, the uh, common hermit crabs are just everywhere. <laughs> um, but then I found another St. Piran's hermit crab at Wembury in Plymouth, which is a marine protected area. So it's a great place for the species to thrive. 
And uh, yeah, really great to observe. They've got some great colorations, some beautiful colorations, as well as some weird looking eyes that I find really, really cool as well. But yeah, just for like the rarity and the story behind it, it definitely deserved a spot on this list. And finally, my number one rock pooling find of 2022 had to be the Giant Gobi. This was an absolutely incredible find. I couldn't believe uh, I had been lucky enough to find one in a rock pool at Wembury. Again, marine protected area, so it's a great place for these rarer species to thrive and uh, just live out their life. But yeah, the giant goby is definitely one of the rarest species we have in the UK. Very, very limited distribution, pretty much limited to the southwest and uh, Devon, sort of like Devon and Cornwall area. And uh, yeah, honestly, it's a protected species by law, so that made it even better to find, I guess. Um, to have a, to find a species protected by government law, really, really great find. Um, I actually took some really great photos that I'm really proud of, one of which actually made it into a local art and photography exhibition, so I'm really grateful to have that featured, and uh, yeah, just an amazing find, definitely the best find of the year, so it had to be at number one. Now, in last year's video, I mentioned of a couple species that I'd like to find in 2022, but um, unfortunately, I may have set my ambitions a bit too high as I did not find either of them. I said I wanted to find a species of shark and a species of octopus. Uh, so, as you know, <laughs> that didn't happen. If you've watched every single rock pooling video I've made this year, I did not find either of them, which is really unfortunate. But I reckon I, I can find them this year. I reckon I have a feeling I have a good shot of finding at least one of them this year. And to add to the list of sea life I'd like to find in 2023, uh, I'd like to find a common spider crab. As I had mentioned earlier in the video, they're a really cool species, much bigger than the uh, long legged spider crab that I managed to find. And another species I'd like to find is a spiny starfish. Now this is a huge species of starfish that we get in the UK, often in Devon and Cornwall, which is where I'm sort of from, so hopefully I'd have a good shot of finding them next year. But yeah, a lot bigger than the uh, species that, that I normally find, like the common starfish, the cushion starfish. These are like the size of your hand, like genuinely, really, really big species, beautiful blue coloration. So yeah, it'd be great to find one next year and film it and take some photos of it. Just before the year ends though, I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have watched and supported my videos throughout 2022. For all of the views, the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, it all means the absolute world to me. It's thanks to you that I've hit a thousand subscribers this year, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe I hit a thousand as quick as I did. And it's, it's all down to you. It's all down to you. I cannot thank you enough. It means the absolute world to me that you all enjoy the videos. And we've actually surpassed a thousand by a pretty decent amount. We're at like, at the time of recording this, we're at like 1400. I would like to end the year on around 1500. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do down below. It helps out more than you think and you'll be able to catch up with all of my new videos in the new year. So it's definitely worth hitting that subscribe button. And just before the video ends, I just want to touch on a little thing that I mentioned in last year's video. Last year, if you watched the video, I mentioned I would be taking a break in January to focus on some university exams. And I'm going to be doing that again this year. I'm not going to be making any like sort of main videos. I'll still be uploading YouTube shorts because they really don't take that much effort to upload. But yeah, there'll be no like rock pooling videos, no species spotlights for the month of January. So I can properly focus on my university exams and do the best that I can in them. So that is the end of the video and the end of my videos for 2022. It's been an amazing year for me on YouTube and it's all thanks to you guys for all of the support you've given me throughout the year. Uh, I really, really enjoyed making videos this year. We found some amazing sea creatures and I'm looking forward to carrying on in 2023 to find some more amazing sea life and to tell you all about them. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next year.